Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Yancey versus Thomas. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Yancey, you are here to save your family by proving to your boyfriend that he fathered your seven-month-old son, Kahari. You testify that his paternity denial is tearing you apart. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Thomas, you claim that after finding pictures of Ms. Yancey and the baby with another man, oh. you are convinced you are not Kahari's biological father. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. So, Ms. Yancey, tell us why this court date is so important. Well, it's important because, um, well, we've been having a few issues ever since my baby was born. Um, it would go, you know, he was there through the entire pregnancy, and, um, we would go back and forth after the baby was born about, you know, the baby doesn't look like him, the baby looks like me, or, you know, the baby... So you feel like this paternity resolution mm -hmm. is important in terms of saving your relationship? Um, yes, Your Honor. So your relationship's on the line, Mr. Thomas? A lot going on right now because of these paternity doubts? Yes, Your Honor, it is. What do you mean? Do you feel like you don't know if you're gonna stay or you're gonna go? Where are you at with this? Um, right now, Honor, Your Honor, it's, it's hard, you know, because I do love her and all. And throughout the whole relationship, we always talked about having a child together. But, you know, now it's like we're at a point where we ha it's a child, but I possibly might not be the father, you know, so it, it kind of hurts, so... And Kahari is seven months old. And you worried about, is it your baby? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Yancey, talk to me about the nature of your relationship with Mr. Thomas during the period of time right before you got pregnant. We were just getting back together. We were still, um... There was a little brief breakup? Yes. Okay. He was seeing somebody, and then I started seeing somebody, but basically it... That all transpired from um, us just not being pretty much truthful with each other, and um, yeah, and even like she said, even at the time we were both seeing someone, we were still seeing each other, so it wasn't like. Well, <laughs> were you broken up or were you together? More like friends with benefits. Yeah, well, but were you also dating and sleeping with other people? I didn't start dating and sleeping with other people until Maurice had seen me giving my friend a ride. We were going out. He seen me at the gas station with him, and all this uh, stuff came out. He started cussing me out and texting me and calling me out my name. And <laughs> well, yeah, I he mean, was if, following if me in, in my car. If you're in a relationship with somebody, he, we, we weren't in a you relationship. You don't go and like... give another man a, a ride and not. But I thought get... y'all said you all were broken right, up. Right, exactly. When we were breaking up, that's not correct. to me. I felt like we were over. If we were I felt, over, and I told him that multiple times. If we were so we're over, done. You don't call just... me. Don't come to my house. Do not. Disturb me, leave me alone. But he at the same time, to be she's persistent. still calling me. She'll still come to my mom's house, ask me for little things, you know what I mean, to help her out with this or that. And I would. So if we're so broken up, there's no need for you to come ask me. Go ask your new friend if you're messing and with somebody. And that's fine. And that's fine. So why would it... Why would you take it upon yourself to follow me in my car to... And that's the thing. To, See, I'm she, talking to my new friend. Why said, are you she following She said me? I was following her, but at that time... Uh, where, we, where we live at, it, it's the weekend, so everyone goes to the gas station, they hang out, and then they go to the clubs. That's all what? we're doing. <laughs> is that That's what we're doing now? For you. <laughs> that sounds like high school. Y'all look too old immature. to be hanging out at the gas it is station. Immature. <laughs> That's like what you do after the high school football game. Go over <laughs> to the gas station and to the fast food restaurant. You all too old for this in more ways than one. Right. So, uh, Mr. Thomas, take me to the time you found out Miss Yancey was pregnant. When did you find that out? Um, we were sitting at my mom's house, and, you know, she came and she said that she took a pregnancy test and she's pregnant. And I'm like, you know, I was happy for the simple fact that over the years we were trying to conceive and have a baby. And I, I'm, I'm, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, like, yes, it finally happened. And then after she told me, she left and texted me that the baby might not be mine. That's correct. Oh! And um, I told him, and once I started thinking about the conception date and the day I conceived, we were on a breakup. And I was seeing someone else. 
And so was he. But it's like you were already seeing someone before the breakup, if that's the case. No, if that's the case, it was the same with you. Unfortunately, we've got to focus on your sexual practices during the time, Ms. Yancey, because we have a paternity question mm -hmm. concerning Kahari, which is your baby. Right. See, when you get in this loosey-goosey phase, nothing good comes of it. Right. There's no boundaries. You all still having sex with each other, presumably unprotected. And then you still out there having sex with other people, too. All that matters. It makes a mess that you have to then figure out how to clean up and we all got the tools to mess up. But then we act like we don't have the materials to clean up. Right. Yes. That's what this courtroom is. We the clean up court. <laughs> That's what we do. We, no, really. We clean up messes here. So that Kahari doesn't have to live in it. Was Mr. Thomas supportive when you were pregnant with Kahari? Was he there for you? Yes, Your Honor, absolutely. He... The whole way? The whole way. Even though you sent that text back and said it might not be your child? Yes, I explained to him that, you know, I was skeptical. And even, of... though, even though she was skeptical, you know, she told me, and I had my doubts, but at the same time, it was like, <clears throat> the 50% uh, 50 chance it is mine, I don't want to have the son, you know what I mean, born yes. in this world without being there for him. So, regardless, I, stiff, I stepped up and... Right, as you, you know, should. chose to be there for her. You made the choice. Yes, regardless, I made the choice to be there, you know what I mean, and help and out with everything. And throughout the pregnancy, you were there. Doctor's correct. appointment, you went there when Kahari was born, you were at the hospital. That's correct. So, when you see the baby, newborn beautiful baby, what were you thinking? The first thing I was thinking, I mean, I was over, overcome with uh, emotions, you know what I mean? I'm happy, I'm like, you know, it's about time. I see him and it's like, he's a handsome young man, but I just don't feel like he's mine. Why? Who did he look like? He looked like his mother. <laughs> so what's wrong with that? I mean, it's a new baby. She's yeah, yeah. the mother. Hey, yeah, and it, it's true, but you know, I, I, it's this thing I used to say, like, if it looks like the mother too much, then it might not be the, the it might not be the father or something. Oh, boo. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, now, did you make this up or this is something you heard? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's just something I came up with myself, Your Honor. Okay, you came up with this yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so did you sign the birth certificate even though the baby looked like Missy Yancey? Yes, I did. Okay, so what you talking about then? <laughs> just being in a hospital, watching them being born, being in a whole pregnancy, just being in the moment, you know what I mean? No, nobody wants to go through all that and not believe that they're not the father or nothing, you know? So, of course, I signed it. Just emotions so... that overwhelmed with love for him and her and just just being there at the time. All right, I'll accept that. Because even though that's the wrong thing to do, that's honest what you said. You got caught up in the emotion of it. Yeah. You loved her. You loved the baby because you thought it could potentially be your baby. And, and then, uh, yeah, and then I also have a son of my own. Um, and he, he had, like, an extra little pinky finger. And Kahari also had that when he was born. So that, that sort of eased out all the, the doubts I had, you know what I mean? Oh, so you had a son who was born with the sixth finger. Yes. And so, when Kahari was born with it... I noticed the same thing. So, that, that just took out the little doubt or whatnot I had and... Okay. And you felt like, you know what? I felt like he's mine. This is my I, baby. I'm here, yes. And I'm gonna sign this birth certificate. That's correct. When do you start doubting again? Um, we had took a trip to uh, Fresno to go visit family. And I end up going through her phone and I noticed that she has pictures with Kahari and the other man that could possibly be the father. Oh, oh really? Yes. Why were you taking pictures with the other guy, Miss Yancey? My mom looked at him and she told me straight up, I don't think that that's Maurice's son and I think that you should get in contact with his biological father. And that's and... cool and all, but at the same time, if we're together, why couldn't you have just told me? Why hide it and make it a big deal? You know what I mean? I wasn't trying to hide it. I just felt like there was a particular time and place for that. But you like... realize by not telling him, mm -hmm. that just fueled his doubt even more. Right, right. And I understand that. I can understand where he's coming from on that aspect. And so, like I said, I never meant for it to go that way, but my intentions was to explain to him and but tell after, him. But after how long? Because we were back for, like, like I said, four or five days, and then we had an eight-hour ride together. And then, I mean, you could have talked to me in the car anytime in between. How long ago did you take the family trip About to About two months. Oh, it was just two months ago? Yes. What has it been like for the, for the last two months? I mean, it's been kind of hard because, you know, I've, I've grown a love and we've got a bond together. 
And, you know what I mean, after seeing that picture, it's like, if you feel like this, then why should I continue to be around if you're trying to put him or put another man in his life that hasn't been there or doesn't want to be there? Oh, the other man doesn't want... He doesn't want... know that, and that's not I, true. I'm, not, I'm just saying, like, I'm the only one that's been there, and... You, you, he you doesn't know? want to give the other man an opportunity. I'll, I'll give him an opportunity. Does the other man want to be in Yes, he does. He and does. if he does, yes. and if it's not mine, then he but can... He, I'll, step, and, I'll step away, and he can and, be in his And life. that's what he feels. He's gonna step down to let the other man it's take care son. of his child. Yeah, which it's is, his child. Which is ridiculous, oh, because we have a whole family. We're, if, we're in a relationship. We have a house. We have a car. We have everything intertwined. Yeah, we so. were in a relationship, and we, and we were in a relationship when we took that family trip. But right. uh, in your eyes, you didn't you didn't come and tell me as a family. Yeah. So, well, <laughs> let the church say amen. amen. <laughs> Miss Yancey, <clears throat> I have to agree with Mr. Thomas's logic. I think you should have informed him in advance. He wouldn't have, he wouldn't have went for it at all. So and you felt like knowing. he would have just said no. He, he either would have said no, or he would have given up on us and said, do what you're gonna do. She's still having communications with this guy, and without me knowing. Oh. I'm not really having communications. You're not really with him. having communications, but then Only again, you're. If it's important. Oh, I well, send what's, him it, what's of important, the baby. Your Honor? If he's not around, well, how is it important to him? He's not there every night so you, waking up, changing, making bottles. you send him pictures of Kahari? Every now and again. And, and that's something I just found out right now. I never knew that. Yeah, just like I found out just recently when we took the trip to Fresno that he was actually born with extra fingers on both sides of his uh, hands. So that... Who that, was? The other potential dad. Oh. Oh. Now that <laughs> is an incredible coincidence. I didn't know that either until we took the trip. And we were talking about everything. So, what are your hopes, Miss Yancey? What are you thinking? What 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 do you want from this? Um, my hopes is for Maurice to be the father of my child. Those are my hopes. Yeah, she I... has this other man that she's saying is a father, and she's still sending him pictures. Why? And why are you crying, Miss Yancey? What what what? I'm I'm just emotional. It's just annoying that. He just feels like, oh, it's so negative on my end. It's all this negative. He's done stuff, too. He's made But what I've, done, what I've done didn't bring a, a child in our relationship. It doesn't matter. We're not, we're not, it doesn't matter. My mistakes you, you, didn't okay, bring us you, here today. You, you didn't bring a child. You're right. You didn't. But there was plenty of ulterior motive that you had to get back at me for stupid stuff. So it's okay. Like I said, at the end of the day, I'm just here to get them DNA results so I can have closure and move forward. Whatever you're gonna do, that's fine. If that's what you wanna do, that's fine. What I are appreciate you, going to, you. What are you gonna do, Mr. Thomas? I mean, have you thought about what you're gonna do if you're not the biological father? If I'm not the biological father, then I'm gonna step away and let her continue to put the other man in Kahari's life so he could be his father. Like she wants. Because he wants to be the father also. So. so you're saying if the baby's not your biological child, you're done with the whole relationship? In a way, yes. He's saying that. In a way. Yeah. See, now we back to loosey goosey, which didn't get us anywhere in the first place. Well, yes, yes. Because I, I don't want to be sitting around just being a stepdad while you're. While I'm raising a kid. That's you're, you're... crazy because you've been a stepdad for almost five years. And, and five years, I'm tired kids. of being a stepdad. You're tired of being a stepdad? Well, then you need to figure it out. This is it's, it's deeper than this. You need to figure it out regardless. I'm gonna say this, Miss Yancey. Mm -hmm. Better him say this now right. than convince you that right. everything is perfect only to every other day bring up or every time your child's father have to come pick him up, right. it'd be an issue. Right. So now we know where we are. Mm -hmm. Let's find out where we're going. Jerome, I'm ready for the results. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Yancey versus Thomas. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. When it comes to seven-month-old Kahari Thomas, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Thomas, you are not the father. I'm very sorry. It's okay, Your Honor. 
It's all right. I mean, I, could, I, I still love her, and I still love him at the end of the day, but if she wants... <laughs> if she wants to build a father-son relationship with Kahari and the other man, then I feel like there's no need for me to try to build a strong relationship with him. Well, that's not true. It... Now, see, I, I, listen, I support you in your truth, but I'm not gonna let you tell yourself a lie. It's not that you don't have a place just because you're not the biological father. A child can't have too much love. And you've done something beautiful for this child, that you've ushered this child in the world with love and acceptance, even when you weren't sure. That's a good thing. That's a blessing. So now we've got to figure out how we manage all of these circumstances that you both brought into play. Right? Correct. So from here on out, we got to change that. I want you to go talk to Dr. Jeff. I want you to take advantage of the counseling and the resources we have for you because Kahari is going to need you all to be able to set some boundaries and know where you're going with this thing. Right? That's correct. All right. I wish you all the very best. Court is adjourned.